Hello there. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a PayPal product link so that you can add a button to your website to lead to a offer, a product or a service with just a push of a button and that takes you directly to a checkout page. So you don't need any of the fa fancy software that's out there. You can just uh, add this link or a QR code to your website or anywhere you're advertising this, this offer. And it's push button easy. So here we are on my PayPal dashboard. And at the top menu, go to business tools. And scroll down to where it says accept payments and this little purple box says sell on social so click on that and then get started and i have a bunch of stuff here but if this is <laughs> the first time you've tried this then all you need to do is click this little blue uh, circle that says add product so now you can add a graphic add your product name and a brief description and then you put price currency you can add free shipping you don't have to add taxes if you don't want to and then when when that's all done there's a button that pops up here that says create and then you have a link so i'm going to go ahead and go through this process In this case, this is a event. So I would say, um, you know, two day event, live and interactive on Zoom. And then dates, October 14th and 15th. Oh, actually, <laughs> you can't put you can't put special characters on here. That's the one downside to this is is the dash is actually considered a special character. So let's go and fifteenth, you know, uh, put a time right. And then maybe if you have any characters left, you can say some little spiel about it in case they're still wondering <laughs> if you didn't educate them on your landing page. Um, there we go. Okay. So it can be very simple. You know, there's uh, you have a limited number of characters here. And then we can put the price. Make sure you do US dollars, free shipping. Uh, if this is a service or event or something, <laughs> you just put free shipping anyways, just because uh, PayPal likes to do that for some reason. And then there we go. Press create. Now you're going to get a QR, uh, so you can get a link and a QR code. So here's your QR code. So all you had to do is click on this little QR code icon and then right click on, it opens up a new window, right click on the image and say, save image as, and then you can also share this directly on social media if you wanted to. You can say, uh, I'm putting together this event, blah, blah, blah. But I like to direct people to the landing page and then um, go to that uh, checkout page because then you can capture their information in between. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna say, get the link, link copied to clipboard. Now you can go into a new browser window, paste that in just to test it. And there it is. There is your live page with the brief description 
basic information, price, name of, uh, you know, you can add a couple of extra graphics up here if you want to, you know, your, your imagery can tell a story. So you can say more with more images if you want to do, or you can just keep it simple like this. And then once you do that, if you click on the buy now button, it'll take you to a, a checkout page. I guess it wants me to accept cookies first. Okay, I will accept your cookies. There we go, okay. There it is. So now it shows the amount and then you can just simply click on that PayPal checkout button. I'm not going to because I don't want to accidentally buy this product, <laughs> but it will just take you to a standard um, checkout page with standard order procedure. And there you go. You can take this link that you just grabbed from here and make sure you paste that somewhere so you have it. Okay, so copy that. Open up like a Word document of some sort. Okay, so just open up a Word document and then paste that in, Command V. And there's your shortened PayPal link which is awesome. Once you, once somebody clicks on that, it expands out to this one. So you can also copy that one if you want to make sure you have both links for whatever reason. Okay. And then if you wanted to, you can even add your um, QR code in here as well. Just so you can have There, so now you have your shortened PayPal link, the long form PayPal link and your QR code. So now you, you have all of these assets so you can just save that as your, um, product link information. Okay. Now, when you go to a web page builder, all you need to do is uh, if you have a contact form that ha takes down their name, email address, and phone number, and then put the the button underneath that, you can make the button go to this link. So now it looks like you're going directly from the contact information directly to an order form. So it's it's a seamless uh integration for the the end user experience so there you go uh that's all you need to start taking payments online all right thank you so much for watching and have a great day